good Sunday morning. Yes, you know what time it is, don't you? No, it's not howdy duty time. <laughs> it's flea market time. Tommy and I have just finished our breakfast here at Old McDonald's Farm. Using the Kodak ZE1 that Ron C fixed for me. Yep. You should be getting that item in the uh, mail soon there, Ron. So, let me just put this in a McDonald's garbage. The problem with this McDonald's, it only has one trash can outside. You gotta go way over by the building there to dump it. Right, we got extra napkins. We always can use those. We are headed to Jewett City. We will see you up there. We're coming into Jewett City. I gotta make a big swing here. Guy stuck out too far. All right, we'll see. What do you think, Tom? We'll find a good place to park? I hope so. Let's find a good place to park this morning. Last week I uh, got a decent one. I don't wanna, I always like to back in. I don't wanna drive straight in. I'm always afraid I'll back into somebody. Especially if they're not parked where they should be. <coughs> down here. Hmm. It's like a pretty good turnout here. Oh yeah. I've been block I've been blocked in trying to park in this middle row here. So I try to avoid that because no matter what. I can't go there's an open space there, but I'm not gonna I've gotten blocked in down here trying to park. So let's see if we can get something up here. This camera works well. I uh, thank Ron very much for fixing it for me. Yes. I hope he enjoys that Ungar soldering station. I'm looking forward to a video on it. Be interesting to see what kind of a compressor he comes up with for that. I gotta make sure we don't back into, <laughs> back down <laughs> and over the bank. <laughs> Would not be funny. Those are some big tanks over there. Propane. Oh. Bombs. <laughs> That's what they are. Bombs. They blow you. They blow you right off the off the parking lot. Why do they blow up? Yeah, they can. I've heard a house. You gotta be careful. I keep talking. I go over the bank. Okay. I'm gonna drink my coffee this morning. All right. You have your coffee, Tom. Yep. I'm gonna roll your window down a little bit. About halfway down. We don't have anything anybody can take in here anyway. Okay. You ready? Don't forget to sanitize your hands, Tom, when you're <laughs> handling stuff. If you do get a refreshments or something. Yeah. Don't forget your mask. That's gonna be aggravating. <laughs> All right. That's it. We'll join you a little later on outside here. Fifteen dollars for an AC? Wow, that's cheap. Oh, oh. Was it 
got a few bucks in your pocket. It's easy to buy. Don't tell me. I got one just like that. Do you? Yeah. What do you pay for them? $95. How much you said was that? $25. Hmm. So I just took a picture of it and I just took a chance and just threw it on uh, walking. Yesterday, this lady, um, the other guy, the other one, a little bit, I didn't know, 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 I one of them has an empty cage, but I can use it. Stop here. Stop. You know what? Just open. Just get the front can. You did one. Do a nice little. We got a couple of that might work. Yeah. And what it does is it gets all the rust and takes care of all that. You paint it white. Perfect. Yeah. 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 You got music playing, so. Glasses are all fogged up for this mask. Okay, folks. Uh, Tommy uh, did all the videoing today. And it uh, wasn't too much there, and the guy did not have any radios. The guy that usually has the radios, uh, I asked him today, and he says, they're all buried. Uh, I says, what, in your truck? He says, no, at home. So hopefully he has something next time I go there. Um, Guy was hanging signs, one of the vendors was hanging signs, a dollar for everything on the table. So this was one of the items for one dollar, a GPS. I haven't really checked it out. It's got the cord and everything with it. That was a dollar. Another vendor had this real rough rat tail file. I offered him a buck for it. He said, sure. Another vendor had a box of tubes, a wooden box, with some tube shields. Five bucks. I'm taking a chance because every one of them could be duds. But they're not the fancy type of tube shields, but they are tube shields. Um, this was a buck. And Nintendo. <laughs> Tell me would probably want that. I got it for uh, putting a tester in it or something. 
and 25 feet of speaker wire. And these screwdrivers, they had a box of them, a couple hundred of them, Phillips and flat blade. He says these are made in Germany, buck a piece. So I got one of each, a little larger Phillips, a little smaller Phillips, and a small flat blade. So that's my take for today. No radios of any kind over there today. So. And they had the building open as of 9 a.m. We got there about, oh, let's say about 7.30 this morning. But it's so stuffy in there, I had to take my mask off. I could not breathe in there. And I took my mask off outside when I wasn't near anyone. It's a nice day, it's breezy today, but it's hot in the sun. But I couldn't breathe in the building. It was just stuffy. It's always stuffy in there anyways. So um, I only covered one floor, and that was real quick. So that's my stuff for today. Slim pickings. Well, this thing here came with um, wall wart for the charger. It has some weird connector in the back, which will take what looks like an USB. It plugs in this way, plugs in that way, so I have no idea what that is. But that don't look right to me because this wouldn't go into the computer. This looks like a regular USB, but it goes right in either way. Um, I guess some kind of SD card or something goes in there in the slot. <clears throat> <clears throat> but let's turn it on here. That's why I did have it on. I'm never, I have to look at the book. These are not easy to to use. I have I have a couple of them, but I'm better off going with the old maps. View map. I don't know if you can see that. Probably out of focus. Acquiring satellites. I'm in the shop, so I don't know. I only paid a dollar for this whole box with all the accessories. Came with a uh, suction cup mount. It came with this cord. with a some kind of a taped up adapter or something in here cigarette lighter adapter and of course this cord which looks like a regular USB cord as I showed you plugs in the back of this and a nice little Garmin case so I'm not sure what Where to go? Well, let's try food. things. I have no idea. Nothing around here. Oh, this is in New York. 
corner of Jericho Turnpike, Syosset, Long, uh, New York. That's where Lafayette used to be. Go. Huh. I don't know why there's a question mark there on the car. But anyways, I, I'm not too good at operating these things. But anyways, uh, not bad. For a dollar. No instruction book, of course, just a... Safety product information. Okay. I think I know why I got it for a dollar. Well, of course, everything on the table was a dollar at that particular vendor. Um, it said battery charge complete, but obviously not. I got two others in the house. One is a Tom Tom about this size, and it won't hold the charge. So I'm um, got to turn. You can't turn it on. It's got to be plugged in. Even though it says battery charge, I got a one I bought about ten years ago, uh, and it don't hold a charge either. So that's just the nature of these things, I guess. They just don't hold a charge. So that's probably why the guy got rid of it. So when you use it, if you got it plugged into your cigarette lighter, you should be okay. So that's it on this. So I don't know what this is all about. That unit wrapped up in the rubber band. But this is a cigarette lighter adapter. But what that thing is there, I don't know. I should take it out of the bag and find out. Looks like a little fan. Because it goes right to the power cable. So it's not a GPS antenna. It goes right to the power adapter cable it's part of the cable as a matter of fact oh i think i know what that that goes in the back i think the one that john from arkansas here Maybe not. There's a connector on the back of it. Oh. I guess that's a little fan. amount I guess that's what it is amount for this but nope I don't want to break it there's just a ball on there but there's nothing to keep it in there so your windshield mount Nope. There's no instruction with this. <clears throat> I don't want to force it. So in order to use this in the car, you got to have this plugged in. And then this goes into your cigarette lighter. Okay, enough of that. Let's take a quick look at those tubes. There'll be a tube testing, uh, well, not a video, but I'll be doing tube testing on those tubes later on. Tommy picked up a few items, uh, games and stuff like that. Nothing much over there. It was kind of disappointing today. Um, that that dreamer was over there with the $400 Heath kit tube tester. He'll never get it. I made sure he heard it. <laughs> they didn't care. They're very independent. Most of the vendors 
the guy I got this from, I paid a dollar, and there was a lot of stuff on the table for a buck, and some of it was, you know, pretty good, but I didn't need any of it. Um, a, a dual cassette deck uh, was there for a dollar also, but things like that I don't need. Um, so vendors like this, this guy was like getting ready to close up and he just put a big yellow sign across the uh, the table, everything a dollar. So I uh, look at this and says, ah, do I need it? No, but for a dollar, yeah, what the heck, something to try out. But that doesn't, it probably don't have a battery in it. I think that's why they have this. Because every one I've had, the batteries just run very short time, like five minutes and they're dead. So, uh, that's it. People are getting rid of these, I guess, because uh, it costs so much to upgrade the maps on them. For new roads and stuff. Okay, let's get on to the tubes. All right, we got, as I said, we got some tube shields here. And that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tube shields is something I ha do not have. All right, now. My magnifier here. First tube we've got. We're not testing them now. Uh, is a Mullard EZ34. A uh, a pilot radio made in West Germany. EZ81 6CA4. Can't read the name on that, but it's uh, EL84 slash 6 BQ5. The Philips radio uses that. Uh, Tongue Soul, made in USA. 6 BN6. It looks like an N, like a Nancy. 6 BN6. These will all be tested. We'll get the bigger tubes first to read them here. Um, I can't read that. I cannot read the 88 slash 12. It's probably a 12 AX7 or AU7 or AT7. This looks like a 12AU7. Another EL84 6BQ5 Amprex. They all could be no good, you know, we don't know. 12AU7. Another 12AU7. Looks like a 12AX7, but I don't see the 7, but I see the X. EL84 6BQ5. Twelve AX7 ECC eighty three made in West Germany. Twelve AX seven. Six U eight, that's a television tube. Six U eight. ECC eighty three twelve K 
can't read the rest of that. I think it was a 12AU7. Here's another tube shield. These tubes need wiping down, but this white lettering and stuff will come off very easily. 12AX7. Okay, so the ECC83 is a 12AX7. Have to remember that. ECC83, another 12AX7. Made in West Germany. I cannot read that right there. Six BQ five. Now we got the seven pin jobs here. Six AU six. Raytheon. We can clean the top of that. No markings on it other than yellow lettering here and Raytheon uh, unknown tube. 6BA6, so it's probably an AU6 or BA6 or something in that family. 6BA6. Pilot radio. Unknown tube. Unmarked. 6BA6. Six BA6. And that's it. We got a broken glass. One of the uh, tubes went to air. I left it over there. And nice little wooden box. All right. So that's it. I my findings for today, and of course these nice little screwdrivers, which are, if I can read them here, W-I-T-T-E, guy said they're made in Germany, yeah, that's what it says on them. Okay. That's it, folks.